Greetings, folks. Sealer here. Today I have a division replay featuring a pair of Hintenburgs. This is a match that was sent to me by my longtime viewer Sky Tank Dog from the EU server. I have featured Sky a couple of times before on the channel, and I'll leave links to his previous replays in the description below. Now, in this match, he is sailing the Hintenburg along with his colleague Mr. Clint, who is also in the Hintenburg, as well as sailing Swissy who is sailing the Yamato, although for purposes of this video, we will not have the perspective of the Yamato. Now, this is an all tier 10 domination match here on Greece. There are carriers in play, including the intestine Manfred von Richthofen. This is the uh, tier 10 German tech tree carrier. And I do have the correct build for Sky, but I do not have the correct build for Mr. Clint uh, because his base detection is 14 kilometers, which means that he's either not using the concealment expert skill or the concealment systems upgrade. I'm not sure which, uh, but I'm sure Mr. Clint will post some comments uh, on the video uh, clarifying his build. So I'm going to do a slightly different format for this uh, for this division replay. I'm going to basically split it in half, focusing on Mr. Clint to begin with, and then transitioning to Sky Tank Dog. Although in just a moment here, we're going to transition very briefly to Sky uh, as he is about to take a brutal hit. Oh, this is I, this is so painful to watch every time I, I watch this replay. I had to ban at least a couple of Citadels from the Montana, uh, but Sky will stay in the game and we'll come back to him for soon enough. So started over here on the west side over by Alpha. Uh, the allies are very strong on this flank uh, with what looks like what seven, yeah, seven of the 12 members of the team on this flank. Uh, there are only three opponents from what we can see over here by Alpha, including the Shimakaze. Uh, the, ooh, there's the Shima. He's very low health. Goes back off detection. That salvo out. Is he going to be able to get the destroyer? Yeah, nice shot. Good uh, good snapshot on the, uh, on the Shima. So uh, one fewer opponent here over by Alpha. Uh, that was the Shima. And then there's also the obviously the Montana that uh, hit sky earlier on and a des moines and sky is i'm sorry mr clint is going to push around here i think over on the uh, west hand side uh, try to get in some shots from concealment uh, but also try to um, get into a flanking position against the montana and the des moines if at all possible now with the allies being so strong on this flank it really would be preferable that at least one of the battleships uh, be pushing down here there's three over here there's obviously uh, sailing Swissy in the Yamato. There's a Montana, I think, on the one line, and also a, a Conqueror that's way back on the Charlie line. Um, so Mr. Clint's making a fairly bold push here uh, to be the tip of the spear on the side, although right now he's undetected. The Allied Shima, uh, yeah, he is in the Charlie cap. I don't know whether he knew that the Des Moines had already used his radar and it was safe for him to be in the cap to try to take it back from the opponents. Uh, we shall see. But uh, uh, Mr. Clint is continuing to push around here down this west side toward the Montana and the Des Moines. Now, the Hintenborg can shake off uh, these salvos, these 460, 406 millimeter guns from the uh, Montana he will take a lot of penetrating hits, but his turtle back at this range could uh, mitigate Citadel hits uh, if the Montana fires on him. Right now, he's um, he's not being targeted, or at least he wasn't. Now he is. This is probably the Montana that is targeting him. Gets an another couple of hits in. He's switching to AP here because the Montana, yeah, that was, uh, he deflected most of that. And the Montana is full broadside, and that these AP shells into the deck line will finish off the carrier for his second kill. And now he can close the distance with the Des Moines, and this is where the uh, Hintenborg uh, tends to, to dominate and do very well, is in these close combat situations. Now, the risk that Mr. Clint has is that if the Des Moines pays attention to him, which currently he's not, even though he is using radar, uh, he the uh, Des Moines could put a lot of hurt in with AP here, might avoid Citadel hits, but he still would be taking full penetrating damage. He continues to fire AP here. I think it, I think Mr. Clint's intention was to try to disable guns uh, as he pulls his in here, but he is able to finish off the Des Moines for his third kill uh, as he's now cleared out 
the west flank and they can push in toward uh, the mid. Now he is up against a Kurfürst, which again, with these either 406 or 420 millimeter guns, he might be able to mitigate uh, a fair amount of damage. That wasn't too bad. And the, the uh, Kurfürst is quite low health, but he could put himself into a crossfire situation, or he is, between the uh, the Wusta and the Kurfürst. But the Kurfürst takes a, a pretty strong hit right before Mr. Clint is able to finish him off, claiming his fourth kill. Now, he has been doing a fair amount of uh, sort of kill securing here. He's only up to 60,000 plus uh, with four kills, but he's made some really critical kills here in this push to be able to get a handle on this west flank. The Allied Shimikaze is just about to capture uh, Alpha, and that will definitely help the Allies. Uh, they do have a three ship advantage but they are now losing bravo the the opposing holland has moved into the bravo cap uh and here it looks like yeah mr clint there he has just earned his kraken unleashed he did take a fair amount of damage in in the uh, attack from the wusta but he is able to uh, put the fire out and uh, use his next heal so looking at tactical, the opponents obviously have a very strong handle on the Charlie side over on the east. Uh, they are getting Bravo. And there's not much that the allies can do about it other than maybe the carrier to try to spot and take down the Holland. However, uh, the Holland has now earned a very strong reputation uh, for ex exceedingly good AA, uh, e even against tier 10 carriers. So I'm not sure how confident... Uh, Mr. Clint and Sky's uh, carrier is to be able to go after the Holland. There is another, there is a cruiser in there. That is the Smolensk. That's also a very strong AA uh, ship or anti-airship. Yeah, anti so uh, that would probably be a pretty hard cap for the carrier to try to drop. I don't know if he is taking bombers through the south side of the cap. I don't know if his intention is to try to drop them or maybe just, um, yeah, there's the Holland. Yeah, the Allies have now just lost a couple of ships in fairly quick succession. Those were the torpedoes that just went by from the Holland. And Sky is trying to... I'm sorry, Mr. Clint is trying to get some more shots on that destroyer. Um, but his threat now is that, he again, he is the tip of the spear on the side. And the Holland... Oh, yeah, there, there's some more AP shells coming in. That was from... not sure which battleship that was from. That looked like that was from the Conqueror probably, but this is a very healthy um, Smolensk that he's up against, and the Smolensk simply through DPM uh, is likely to be able to take down Mr. Clint fairly rapidly if he elects to. Uh, Mr. Clint is being targeted by two here. One for sure has to be, the, yeah, that was another salvo from the Conqueror. That was not a very well-placed salvo, but he, and so he was able to weather that salvo as well. He's up to well, and excess of a million and a half in potential damage uh, but right now i think his biggest threat is going to be the holland which right now he can't see as well as the smolensk now uh mr clint is electing to use ap here the smolensk is a pretty squishy cruiser i don't know if his intention here is to try to disable the guns on the smolensk while he's pushing in here he is again continuing to be detected. I'm sure that is by the Holland. Uh, fortunately, he does have. Oh no, he's using his defensive fire. Oh, I just realized now as I'm watching this that he brought defensive fire and not hydro um, to uh, ward off the aerial attacks. There is the Smolensk again. Again, he's continuing to fire armor piercing here. Uh, and yeah, he gets a pretty good set of alpha and disables one of the front guns for the moment. And that's again another pretty good salve. He's shooting these up into the superstructure. So some of these are penetrating, but he is definitely in a crossfire now. And he does get his last set of torpedoes off on his port side that he had not sent. Uh, but he's essentially dead at this point. This next salvo is probably going to kill him here relatively soon. And more shells coming in from the Smolensk. He avoids it. Ooh, well, he's got just a few hit points left. Uh, but he is definitely in a situation where uh, any of these ships, the uh, the Holland has now just been detected uh, to his south. Uh, ooh, he does get the torpedo on the Smolensk that cl claims his sixth kill for the game. 
uh, but he is just you know riding you know on a razor's edge here with what less than 400 hit points he did pop his one of his heels but it was too late and he is taken down uh, and we're going to transition now to Sky's perspective so Sky has not been sort of ignoring his duties as the long range artillery cruiser he's already up to uh, in excess of 90,000 in damage but he had been working uh, mostly from range or entirely from range up to this point uh, not acting as the tip of the spear like Mr. Clint was uh, obviously with that very big salvo that he took from the Montana early in the game uh, I think it was wise for him to uh, sort of back off and try to just work tar targets of opportunity excuse me uh, based on his range now one thing I'm going to pick on you Sky a little bit about is you have not used any of your heals I don't know if you're like working on some sort of bet with one of your division mates that you could go the whole whole battle without using one of your heels like they're going to offer you a, a bottle of single malt scotch or something <laughs> if you can pull it off uh, but at this point i definitely would have put in as many heels as possible you can recover uh, what looks like probably maybe fifteen thousand in health uh, or maybe a little less than that twelve thousand uh, but uh, you definitely could use uh, some healing right now. Um, although it is benefiting you not to heal to, as far as uh, adrenaline rush is concerned. Trying to get some shots here on the uh, on the Holland. This is pretty long range shots to try to hit a, a destroyer. Although the Holland is very concentrated on shooting the uh, Montana. Uh, I don't remember. I think the Montana is quite low in health. Uh, well, hopefully we'll pop back out here and we can take a look at the, the health of the Montana. Well, the, the Conqueror has gone down. And so the Allies do have a three-ship advantage, but their point lead is not that great. This Holland, we really want would like to be able to get down. These shots look pretty well placed. Oh, there goes the Montana. The Montana went down to fires, and so the Allies are now behind. Uh, and I transitioned here about a minute and a half because... It takes a little while for Sky to get back more towards the mid uh, where he can start putting fire on the Stalingrad uh, that is facing off now against um, Sailing Swissy that we can see in the Yamato uh, here on the left side, left hand side of the screen. Uh, he looks like he took a couple of torpedoes and he is flooding and he is burning. Uh, so it doesn't look like um, Sailing Swissy is going to stay in the game too much longer. Ooh, there, nice. He gets the uh, the um, stalling red down uh, for his first kill. He's up to over 100,000 damage, but we did lose two allies in very quick succession. So now it's a three on two situation, but the allies are still down. Uh, and Sky, you still haven't used one of your heals, and you definitely could use it at this point because you are going to be front and center with both the carrier and the destroyer both being on the side in fact the uh, Manfred von Richthofen was detected on the 10 line at Foxtrot 10 and obviously he's be coming under attack here by the carrier these are the uh, armor piercing rockets uh, so they and there is the carrier um, so I th finally Sky you have used your heel thank you uh, we do get a quick glimpse on the Holland now this is a critical spotting by the allied carrier on the destroyer because getting this destroyer down is quite important to be able to secure the win here if they can and that shot looks pretty good yes that is the second kill that takes down the Holland that leaves uh, just the carrier and the allies now have a firm lead uh, with two caps and just the carrier to deal with although uh, this you know all carriers are can be pretty strong now here comes another rocket attack no damage there so I don't know how effective uh, the uh, armor piercing rockets are supposedly they can citadel ships um, but I don't know what the armor piercing characteristics are how you know how deeply they can penetrate into through particular uh, armor schemes but there at least sky was able to avoid damage from the carrier the carrier is now starting to move because he is coming under persistent spotting from, I'm assuming the Shimakaze, although, well, maybe not, because the Shimakaze has swinged up. So maybe just um, airplanes in the area that are spotting the carrier. And Sky is now switched to armor piercing, start getting some of those armor piercing shots in on this carrier. And with uh, the team over 900 points, 
and we're winding down to less than a minute will sky be able to get his third kill here and take down the german carrier some torpedoes from the shimikaze headed towards the carrier uh, he did send all three sets there they get the cap they're going to be able to get this carrier down before time expires or they win on points the well all the torpedoes missed he's got a few more salvos out of ap and sky does sink the carrier so very well done uh the three of the in the division did come in top for the team uh, mr clinch at the top with over uh, 2800 base xp sky not far behind at over 2700 and i'll leave the results up for both uh both mr clint and sky uh, for you to peruse at your leisure so thank you very much sky for sending this in and thank you mr clint for sharing it as well we hope everybody did enjoy the replay and the commentary please do leave your comments below and as always we hope to see you out there in the virtual seas and we wish you happy sailing